Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. For this video, we will be transforming Bunny Blanc into Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you've seen the concept design that I wanted to create for Pinkie Pie, and I just wanted to give her a 1950s kind of silhouette with a nipped waist, and you know, ribbons, and like a poofy skirt, and I just wanted everything to be fun, vibrant, and colorful. Very, very opposite of my usual style. So first I take off all of her hair using scissors and pliers, just so we can have a clean canvas for later. So this is pretty much one of the most satisfying part, is taking off all of the hair plugs. Next I go in with acetone or nail polish remover, and we remove her factory paint. And after we clean off the face, we are going to move on with the hair. And for Pinkie Pie, I'm actually going to be doing a reroute slash wig or extension kind of thing. As usual, I will be preparing my hair weft using acrylic yarn and we will make it into hair. It's still so crazy to me how you can turn yarn into beautiful doll hair. Like, silky, beautiful, straight, shiny doll hair. Like, that still boggles my mind. After that, we will reroute her head, but I'm only going to reroute the perimeter, like the edges of her head, because it is going to be tied in a ponytail. And I did paint her head hot pink, just so that it makes the blending a little more seamless. The reason why I'm only covering the edges is because yarn is very, very thick. Even if we turn it into beautiful wefts, it's very thick and it can be too much. So that's why we're only covering what needs to be covered. Then to secure everything, we will be using Fabri-Tac. After that dries, we will do the same exact thing to the hair. We're still not done with the hair, but for now, let's go ahead and move on to her face up. As usual, I'm taking my watercolor pencil and I'm sketching in lightly what I want to create in terms of the eye shape and the details. I always start with like a light brown, just because it is easier to erase. Prior to sketching, make sure that you spray your doll's face with MSC or Mr. Super Clear. For Pinkie Pie, I sprayed her face four times just to protect the face and to make sure that it doesn't stain it. And also to give the vibrant colors of the watercolor pencil. With the same layer, I also add my pastels. So that is the eyeshadows, the blushing, the lips and all of that, we want to create multiple layers, and the more layers, the more vibrant the face will be. So pretty much, you will be working with multiple layers, and you'll be doing the same exact thing. Like for me, for my eyebrows for example, I come back to eyebrows, I believe, five times, just to make it really vibrant, or if I want to change the color. Um, for me, the eyes is the prominent step because I have to make sure it is detailed, it is vibrant. And overall, I always want it to be the prominent feature for my face-ups, for the most part. Usually when you're working with white and also black, it's kind of hard to build and make them vibrant. So using acrylic paint can actually help because you will get the color that you need from them. I wanted Pinkie Pie to have a very, very vintage look in terms of her face and eyes. And I took a poll on my Instagram comparing 70s anime eye style and also 90s. And the 90s style won by a landslide. But I'm still going to kind of do the 70s just because I love it so much. As you can see, I am changing the eyeliner color from red to baby blue. I want the eye to pop and to be very, very light, and I want the eyeliner to match the eyes. Then I'm going to apply lashes, and I'm also going to paint this baby blue. And to finish it off, we will gloss up her lips and her waterline. And now we're done with the face, and it's very kawaii! For the hairstyle, I want it to be a very, very high ponytail. So we're going to just tie this all back, 
and leave the bangs out. I will be taking this styro egg and will use it as a bump it. And I'm also taking a foam board and we will actually cover this with hair. So this is a good way to kind of cheat because yarn hair is very short and it doesn't really grow longer. So if you use this method, it's kind of like a good way to cheat an extension. I definitely wanted Pinkie Pie's hair to be crazy and big, almost as big as her or bigger. So this method for me is what made it kind of work. And here we have the final look for Pinkie Pie's hair. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so now we brush it out, and as you can see, it blends in as her ponytail so, so well. So I just pinned it in place, and now we are going to brush it all together, and we will be styling it. As usual, I am heating up my metal chopstick to create beautiful tiny curls. I definitely wanted her hair to be very big and crazy, very very 80s, early 90s, and I think the bangs part is what makes it so obviously 80s or 90s. I'm just adding tendrils because I remember watching the original Sailor Moon and I was so confused by that swirly thing around their ear and I was like, what the heck is that? But I found that I really really like that look. And now it's time for the outfit. I want to say thank you to Amanda from Mystical Moonstone for creating the top and also to Bojena from Doll's Brand New Look on Instagram and YouTube for creating the skirt. I wanted her look to be filled with a lot of treats and chocolates and cupcakes and ice creams so I ordered a bunch of Decoden accessories and these are like the charms and stuff. We will pretty much be creating Decoden on her skirt. For the icing part, I'll be taking this white silicone that I got from Walmart. It was like two bucks or something. And I'll just be putting an icing tip around it. And as you can see, it looks like icing. So you can use different icing tips to create fun details. And this completely dries solid, but you do have to kind of work fast. So I had to make sure to kind of just put all the charms there and make up a design on the spot. While that's drying, I'm going to paint her top blue. And I'm just taking this foam and we are creating huge sprinkles. For the ice cream cone bodice, I am taking my foam and we are using 3D paint to kind of create the waffle texture. And I tried my best to make it as realistic to an ice cream cone as much as I can. And I'm using epoxy sculpt to create the actual ice cream part. I'm just using a dabbing motion using a textured foil. I feel like that creates the best ice cream looking texture. And for the flavors, I was deciding between vanilla and strawberry, but I was like, why not just do a Neapolitan type of thing, but instead of chocolate, it's mint. I definitely wanted to have a chocolate look to kind of tie in with the skirt, so I'm using 3D paint as a syrup. And for her stockings, we will be borrowing Madeline Hatter's. For her shoes, I'll be using Blondie Locks' shoe from the Sugar Coated line. And I thought this fits perfectly because of all the cupcakes and sprinkles and ribbons and I just thought it was perfect. But as usual, I will be repainting this shoe just to bring out a lot of the details that was molded in but was never painted. And also, this is a good way to match and tie the entire look together. I pretty much just wanted to make sure that the color scheme of her shoes will match the color scheme of the entire thing. And I thought this shoe was very fun and I can't believe they never bothered painting the details in.
And here's the finished look for the shoe. As you can see, it's so cute, but I do want to add a white strap around her ankles. For her hands, I want her to have blue gloves. So here is a side-by-side -side before and after of Bunny Blanc's gloves from black to blue. Next I took this ribbon charm and I'll just be adding polka dots to it to match her entire look. To make her party hat, we will cut a circle shape out of this fun foam. And then we just cut it in the middle and then we twirl it to make a cone. To balance the polka dots and also everything that is going on with her outfit, I made this kind of like a stripe design. I know that the original is blue and yellow, I believe, but I wanted to incorporate the baby pink in there. And then I wanted to create balloons that will mimic her cutie mark. So I'll just be taking three styro eggs and also some wire, and we will just put them together to create the balloons. And thank you so much to Dollcrafter100 from Instagram for the idea. And after that, we are done with Pinkie Pie.